If you haven't noticed, an increasing number of luxury brands are showing up somewhere new these days, with accounts on new media. The pages have information about the brand's latest products, their culture, and sometimes even personal tailoring services. Just a few days ago, Dior, for example, offered a limited edition of a personally tailored bag online, just in time for Chinese Valentine's Day. It sold out in one day. Julia Zhu is one of many loyal followers of luxury brand social media posts, and she's very happy to find them there. The way luxury brands are marketing has changed in recent years. Opening social media pages draws me closer to these brands. Now I can get to know the latest trends of the brands with just my phone. Some of the brands even include an online shop in their social media accounts. Drew says that while she's normally happy shopping online, when it comes to luxury goods, she normally prefers to go to offline stores. I value the quality and service of luxury brands, so if I want to buy something, I will go to offline stores. Still, I do look for information in online stores or their official websites, look for the trendy products and see 360-degree photos to decide whether I want to buy them or not. In addition to making an appearance on social media themselves, many brands are now working with online opinion leaders, fashion bloggers, famous critics, or simply web celebrities. These online key opinion leaders introduce the latest fashion trends to millions of readers every day and shape their shopping decisions too. Kathy Zhang is one of their readers. Well, before, uh, there's only like Taobao or... Uh, most of the time I would just go to shopping malls and see and try things on because I, I really don't trust some of the websites when they when they show the pictures or show the models they sometimes look better than what they, how, how they actually are but since these fashion bloggers they're really uh, they try to be genuine as, as genuine as possible and they tell you the true how they truly feel about the items so uh, in that aspect I would actually try some of the items that they mentioned a U.S. monitoring company says that 92 percent of the luxury brands that have entered China have set up accounts on social networking sites, up from less than half that figure two years ago. Wu Xiaocen, ICS for CCTV, Shanghai.